Hey guys, it's D-Stud. Coming back here to show you how to fix the black screen issue uh, when you're trying to play World of Warships on your Mac. Now, this is an issue that's been plaguing people for a week. I have been out of the country for a week. I do apologize that. Before I get started, I want to have a huge shout out to Chase Elson. Chase Elson, you are the man. Uh, he really stepped up and did all the troubleshooting for me while I was out of the country. Uh, much appreciated. There are many others as well. Uh, I'm sorry there's there was hundreds of comments on the video discussing it, and I can't I can't uh, thank everybody properly. But uh, Chase Olson is the one who found the solution that I will be using in this video. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your applications folder, and essentially you're just going to want to delete everything that you've done already. Uh, delete the World of Warships image. Now, I am not going to delete mine because I do not have the black screen issue. It doesn't affect everybody for some reason, but it does affect a few of you. And to fix it, you need to basically reinstall with a modified, or with a heavily modified wrapper. You don't have to delete the whole disk image, um, but I do recommend it. I've noticed a lot of people, 25 gigs just isn't enough. Their hard drives are a little slow and during the install it doesn't manage to remove the temporary files quick enough and uh, so yeah I would recommend deleting this disk image and rebuilding it using uh, I don't know about 40 uh, 35 gigs instead of 25 gigs something like that alright so what we're gonna want to do here is we're gonna want to go to uh, Paul the Tall's website now I've got my my uh, guide here open just because it has all the links in it but uh, you're going to want to go to the Paul the Tall website uh, and download a new World of Warplanes wrapper. Just download one of them. Ta-da! It's downloading. While that's going on, uh, there's a few other things. I'll keep clicking on the wrong guide. Uh, there's a few other things we can do. Um, again, make a new disk image. I'm going to make a new disk image, and you're going to want to get a new um, World of Warships uh, installer file. Now, uh, you can see the game is no longer in closed beta. I don't even have to log in to get this download game button, which is nice. So you're going to download that. Get that going. Oh. Keep clicking on the wrong one. And yeah, so we're going to get a new disk image going. Disk utility. Click on new image. Same thing as before. World of Warships. Leave it on your desktop. World of Warships. Change this to, yeah, let's say, yeah, 35 or 40 gigs. Um, the game is only about 20 gigs big, so if you have 40 gigs on there, it should be fine. Uh, then you shouldn't have any issues because it's twice the size of the game. Uh, extended journaled, and that should be good. Click create. I'm not going to because I don't need to create a new one again. Mine works just fine. But uh, yeah, so click create. Okay, now. I'm going to assume that you've got us all and you're ready to install it. This guide uh, heavily depends on you um, knowing how to download new wineskin engines and download new uh, wineskin wrapper versions using the wineskin winery. Now, I will make that a separate video because it is something that other people might need to use. Um, independent of this issue. So I'm make that a separate video. Uh, if you want to do this before I make get that video up, just go to the written guide. There's a written guide on how to do it. So now that that's out of the way, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this World of Warplanes wrapper and the World of Warships installer. Stick them on my desktop here. I'm going to right click the wrapper, show package contents. Um, at this point, make sure you have the winery installed 
and you have the latest wrapper update. So 2.6, I think is the one. And you want to have a couple modern engines uh, installed as well. Um, anywhere between uh, 1.7.41 and 1.7.44. I think those, those four different engines work pretty good for World of Warships. Um, so you're going to want to have those installed in the winery. So when we open wineskin here, oh, doesn't like opening things. So when you open wineskin here, uh, we can go advanced. We can click tools, click, you see here, I have wineskin version 2.5.12, and I'm using the, the World of Warplanes engine. So we can click change engine used. And now this drop down arrow is a selection of all the engines that we have installed in the winery. So click one of those, just click OK. Thanks for a bit. It says it's busy. Sometimes it takes a, a minute or two for this to work. I mean, it's got a bunch of files to transfer over and a bunch of things to configure. So just be patient. It's going to happen. There it is. Uh, so now we have 1.7.44 down here. Click Update Wrapper. Uh, it says, you, are you sure? And you just say yes. And now you can see here, we have version 2.6.0. Uh, if we click Advanced, we have 2.6.0. Now I'm going to change this World of Warplanes, same as before in the other one. Um, changing this game path is the exact same as going to the info.plist file and changing it there. It's just for some reason I couldn't get it to stick when I did it here, it always reverted back to the warplanes. That's why I did it in the plist file. Uh, you can try it here first. I'm going to try it here first, and we'll see what happens. Warships, and then warships launcher. All right. Let's leave that. We are going to drive C games. All the warplanes. We're going to delete world of warplanes. So now this is where things get a little interesting. Um, this is where you have to do a lot of configurations and things. Uh, well, not a lot, just a few. So we're going to go over to the Options tab. Okay. And we're going to deselect the Force Use Wrappers Quartz for Windows Decorations, not the one that's on the system. We're going to deselect that. And we are going to select the Force Use System Installed Quartz instead of building or using the built-in X11. We're going to go back to Tools. And we are going to go to set screen. Up. Oh, look at that. You could have done either one. Set screen options. And we're going to deselect the use of Mac driver instead of X11. Deselect that. Click done. Exit out of that. Oh, I guess you could have just clicked install software in the bottom left because that's what we're going to do now. Click to install software. Choose setup executable. We go to the desktop where we have our installer file. Choose that. See now it is using uh, this other quartz system instead of what you previously were using. Click through here. I didn't check the install at DirectX. I actually don't think it's a big deal anymore. I used to be convinced you needed it. I do believe that it is already installed because this is a World of Warplanes wrapper. Critical file application cannot continue. So I got the critical error. Um, not sure what that was all about. Uh, we're going to see if we can run the game anyways. So what I'm going to do now is uh, use my old uh, World of Warships disk image that's already configured. And I'm going to take this World of Warplanes North America wrapper, stick it in to this World of Warships image. Uh, if you made a new one, like I recommended, um, you will uh, put it in that one instead, obviously. So now that it's in there, we can just double click it to run it normally. Uh, hang on a second. Advanced. Oh, I have the wrong executable here. World of Warships launcher.exe. All right. Now you can close this and just run it again, or you can just click here, test run. I'm gonna click test run. Test run is the exact same as running the wrapper. 
only it saves a log file that you can view later. And there you go. We are up and running, downloading four and a half gigs, which I don't want to do again. So there you go. That should download and install. Um, I have not 100% confirmed that this worked. Like I said, the issue is not mine, so I cannot confirm that it actually works or not. But uh, good old Chase Ellingson or Ellison, sorry. Um, he has it working and he has helped a few other users in the comments and so far 100% success. So um, we can assume that it's probably going to work for you as well. All right. Now, now there's a few things that you can do to make it run a little smoother. Um, one, I'd actually recommend trying to move the game files back over to a Paul wrapper. I am sort of convinced that the only issue is when you're installing fresh. Um, that's when you get the black screen issue if you're just updating from a previous client like what I did um, then it's not a it's not a problem anymore so I'd almost try to go back and uh, try a new Polytal wrapper because the Polytal engine generally speaking runs better than 1.7.44 or whatever these generic engines that you're going to try to use the Polytal engine is designed for wargaming games and uh, well, for me anyways, I get about 60 plus frames a second, where with these other engines, I only get 33. You know, it's uh, 33 is fine, I guess, but 60 is better. So you could download a new Polytal wrapper, just move the game files over, move the info.plist file over, and just see what happens. Uh, see if you get the black screen or not. If it doesn't, congratulations. Now, another thing you should do, um, this is a recommendation by Chase is update wine tricks uh, and do this before you uh, install the game. So there's two packages you're going to want to install. Secure32. So we're going to do the, uh, so type in secure. We're going to install the secure32. And then we're going to do ms. Uh, and then we're going to do the ms um, Microsoft core fonts. Arial courier times fonts, all that stuff. And do that. Click update wine tricks, and it thinks for a bit, and there we go. That should be good. Uh, let's see, quit wine tricks. 